ओके प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट रिड्यूस द सिस्टम ऑफ फोर्सेस एंड कपल टू द सिंपलेस्ट सिस्टम एट पॉइंट बी ओके सो दिस इज 68 न्यूटन इट इज गिवन इंक्लाइन लोड ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिजॉल्व दिस इंक्लाइन लोड इन टू डायरेक्शन वन इट इज इन एक्स डायरेक्शन सेकंड वन इट इज इन वाई डायरेक्शन ओके सो एंगल इट इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एक्सिस सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज रिजॉल्व इन टू डायरेक्शन वन इट इज 68 cos 45 On y-axis, it is 68 sine 45. 68 sine 45. Okay. So first of all, calculate magnitude of resultant. Magnitude of result. Magnitude of resultant. Magnitude of resultant. So first of all, for that, calculate sum of all horizontal forces. Sum of all horizontal forces. Horizontal forces. Sum of all the horizontal forces. So for that, R X is equal to that is summation F X is equal to summation of F X is equal to summation of F X is equal to. So here there is the assumption, and the direction of force it is going right side. It will be take positive. The direction of force it is going right side. It will be take positive. If the direction of force it is going left side, then it will be take negative, negative. Okay. So here there is only one horizontal force. It is sixty eight cos forty five. Okay. So it is sixty eight cos forty five. It is going right side. So that's why it is sixty eight plus sixty eight cos forty five. Okay. So it will be get sixty eight cos forty five. So it will forty eight point zero eight. Forty eight point zero. Eight newton, so eight point zero eight newton. Okay. Then sum of all vertical forces. Sum of all, sum of all vertical forces. Sum of all vertical forces. Vertical forces. Sum of all the vertical forces. For that, R Y is equal to R Y is equal to summation of phi. That is summation of phi is equal to Summation F y is equal to F y is equal to. So here the direction of force it is in upward direction. It will be take positive. The direction of force it is in upward direction. Suppose direction of force it is in upward, then it will be take positive. If the direction of force it is in downward direction, then it will be take negative. Okay, then it will be take negative. Negative. Okay. So first force it is. That is at a thirty-three newton. It is going upward direction. So thirty-three plus. Then the sixty-eight sine forty-five is sine sixty-eight sine forty-five. It is also going upward. It is plus sixty-eight sine forty-five. Okay. Then that is eighty-five. It is going downward direction. Minus eighty-five. Eighty-five. It will get R Y is equal to. R Y is equal to thirty three plus sixty eight into sine forty five, then minus eighty five. So it will be minus three point nine one six minus three point nine one six newton nine one six newton. Now resultant R is equal to R is equal to root of root of R X square plus R Y square. Root of R X square. That is means summation F X square. R X square plus 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 R Y square. That is summation F Y square. Summation F Y square is equal to is equal to R it is. Right, R. Our x square value it is forty eight point zero eight. In the forty, in the case forty eight point zero eight square, square. Then plus R y square, plus R y square, plus R y square in the case minus three point. Three point 
3.916 bracket square. Minus 3.916 bracket square. Okay, bracket square. Okay. So it will get R is equal to from this relation, R is equal to resultant. 48.08 square plus 3.916 square. So root of answer, it will be 48.239. 48 48.239 48 Newton. Okay. This one, it is magnitude of resultant. Magnitude of resultant. Okay. Now direction of resultant. Calculate direction of resultant. Direction of resultant. Direction of resultant for that. Tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to okay. so tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to this R one by R X. That is means summation of R by summation of X. R Y divided by R X. R Y divided by R X. Rx, Ry divided by Rx. So Ry value is Ry value is 3.916, 3.916, and Rx it is divided by Rx it is 48.08. 48.08. So it will be tan theta is equal to 3.916 divided by 48.08. It will be 0 0.0814. Then theta is equal to then theta is equal to 10 inverse 10 inverse 10 inverse. Zero point zero eight one four. 8, 1, 4. Then theta is equal to write down. So direction of resultant. Theta is equal to. I will write here. Theta is equal to. 10 inverse 0 0.814. That will be 4.56. Yes. 4.656. This one it is. Direction of resultant. Okay. Now calculate moment at B. Now I will write here moment at B. Moment at B. So moment moment at B. That is MB is equal to MB is equal to. So first of all, this 33 newton it is perpendicular distance it is zero. So 33 into zero it will be zero. Okay. Then second one it is that is 280 newton meter. 280 newton meter. How it is rotating? It is anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So here, when moment it is in clockwise direction, it will be take negative. If the moment it is in anti-clockwise direction, it will be take positive. The moment it is in anti-clockwise direction, so this will be take positive. Okay. So that is 280. It is going. It is sorry. 280. It is moment. It is in anti-clockwise direction. So it will be plus. Then second one it is that is this one it is 68 sine 45. How it is rotating about the point B? It is in this one it is also anti-clockwise direction. So anti-clockwise direction it will be positive. So 68, 68 sine 45, sine 45 into perpendicular distance it is two meter. Then last one that is 85, 85 newton. How it is rotating here? 85 it will be clockwise direction rotation, clockwise direction rotation. So it will be minus 85 into perpendicular distance it is up to B. It will be C to B distance it is four meter, four meter. So moment at B is equal to the moment at B is equal to so first of all 280, then 68 in 68 sine 45 into 2, then minus 85 into 4. So it will be 36.166. 36.166.
166 36.166 newton meter newton meter okay so we got positive value means the moment it is in moment it is in the moment it is in anti clockwise direction okay. moment it is in anti clockwise direction okay so now to the location of moment okay resultant and direction of okay. so this one is to draw x axis and y axis so i will show this one here so this one is x axis y axis so this one the point b point b so resultant b what it is in fourth quadrant okay because x it will be positive and y it will be negative that's why it will be r is equal to r is equal to 48.239 newton 48.329 newton and angle it is direction it is theta theta it will be this it will be theta is equal to 4.656 okay and movement it is in anti clockwise direction so it will be couple movement so just show it is couple movement it is how much this point is 36 point mb is equal to it is 36 point 166 newton meter newton meter okay so we are remove all the forces and we apply one couple and one resultant force okay this is your final answer